What's going on everybody? Gluttony here and we are back in the tutorial world. You can see the Iron Golem farm off in the distance, but look at this. So I figure we've been working with the villagers. We did the breeder. We did the farm. So now maybe a little understanding of who the villagers are and what they do. So there's five classifications of villagers, if you read the wiki. I'm going to tell you there's six, because the wiki does not include the zombie villager. Uh, with, his, with his big, big dark green nose. He is still a villager, he just, he needs your help. He needs help. We already showed you how to get him back. Uh, potion of weakness, golden apple. Boom. You get one of these guys. So... Let's get into this. We've got the five classifications. We got the smithies. Um, brown coat, black apron. You have, uh, let's see, weapon smith. Obviously, he's going to deal you weapons. Tool smith. And the armor smith. Now, the armor smith is good. You can get an armor smith that will trade you for a diamond chest plate. And that's just awesome. Uh,. Yeah, I trade with these guys sometimes. Sometimes it's cool. Most of the time, you're just better off doing your own enchants on your weapons and tools. But, I mean, it's nice to get the villagers unlocked. Get their trades unlocked. See what else they have. Librarians and clerics. Now, in my opinion, the librarian is probably the most valuable of villagers there is. You know, you're going to get all your enchantments from him. Uh, all your enchanted books. And he's easy to make money with. Uh, if you have a sugar cane farm, they'll trade paper. He, he's got an outstandingly awesome trade of, of 25. Usually you're going to see a trade of about 27 sheets per emerald. Uh, Smite 3 Sword, not too bad, not too bad, or a Smite 3 Book, I should say. Um, Clerics are good money makers. You can get to the point where they have bottles of enchanting and glowstone, stuff like that. I guess it's kind of cool, but really it's, if you can get a zombie spawner, it's the rotten flesh trade that you're going to want. Um, yeah, it's just an easy way to make emeralds. Under our next, we have our butcher. Uh, deals in raw meats. You know, good if you got a chicken farm or a cow farm, and they're they're generating. But yeah, you can live without them. But the guys that are gonna bring you the most joy and function in your village or your town or just your survival area, whatever you're building. Are the brown coats the farmers and there's four different farmers you have the actual farmer who obviously trades you wheat potatoes carrots for emeralds you could buy bread uh, eventually he'll trade you for emeralds for pumpkins or melons <laughs> you have the shepherd yeah kind of crappy trades Fletcher again kind of crappy trades Fisherman, one more time. Crappy trades. But the real key to these guys is they'll plant crops for you. You can take this guy and we, uh, let's see, let's get some dirt. And we're going to need a, we're going to need a diamond hoe because, yeah, we can, why not? Um, what else do we need? Where is it? Food, we're going to need. Wheat seeds. Okay. And we are going to go up. Let's move this up because we're going to need glass too. And let's just cut him a little. A little slot here. Let's do it for all of them. Uh, 
Actually, we only need to do it for three. And we will need a bucket of water to irrigate the ground. And let's pop one right here and right here. Building a creative is so easy <laughs> and so fast. Now, each villager has, uh, I, I want to say it's seven inventory positions. Uh, but it could be, it could be eight. Ah. I want to say, I want to say it's seven. We'll find out in a second. Um, they need to be fully saturated to not pick up new items, but that's only with wheat. If you have, um, because wheat, when it's planted, has... Where are we here? Let's get you closed off so we can break this. Let's drop, 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 and drop. Okay. And we need our diamond hoe. Because creative is the only time you should make a hoe using a diamond. All right, there he goes. We're going to box him off, box him off. And let's get a stack of... Where's food? There we go. Stack of carrots and a stack of potatoes. So you will be our carrot guy. And you will be our potato guy. So... There he goes. He's already started planting. Let's go down to the end here. And doop 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 doop. All right. Those guys, when uh, I guess when they stop being in the mood, get away. Anyway, go work. Um, they'll start planning as well. Now, why would you want to do this? Obviously, you can make money off of it. Because uh, this guy will trade for wheat, carrot, and potatoes. Give you emeralds. But also, to make a true village breeder. You know, a self-sustained... It's just going to keep reproducing all the time. You need a wheat farm in there or carrots, or potatoes, and you can see there's a fresh one there. There's a, a brown, solid brown coat in here somewhere. And he's picking the wheat, he's replanting, and he's feeding the other ones. So, we went over it in the breeder. Um, but the mechanics for breeding, you need doors, and they have to be willing. Just because there's hearts doesn't mean they're willing. For them to be willing, they have to be... They have to be fed. You, you have to feed them. And to feed them, you either need three pieces of bread made from wheat. You need 12 carrots. See, he's trying to throw... They're trying to throw this stuff to each other. Because they, they're trying to get one another in the mood. Um, so... He's planting because he doesn't have bread. So he's planting wheat to make bread. Which I would love to know how they do it. Because he doesn't have a crafting table. Tell me your secrets. Tell me. Um, this poor guy. So, did you throw that to him? Oh, I left that open. Yeah. 
Well, he now has carrots in his inventory. See? He's trying to throw them back. Can I pick, can I pick the carrots up? Um, where are we? So, yeah. Three bread, 12 carrots, or 12 potatoes. And they will... They will start to breed. Ugh. He's loading this guy up. Crap. <laughs> you get this. Let me make it so you can't see each other. Oh, that was my bad. So now their inventories are tainted. Uh, he's got carrots and potatoes. He's got carrots and potatoes. He's got carrots and wheat. So if we needed to get... Say we wanted to make a wheat farm... Like, full automated wheat farm with the minecart underneath. We would have to purge his inventory, which would suck. We would actually have to take him far off, put him in an area of tilled, grant, tilled land, and let him plant. And then we would have to go rip it up and collect it. Until he got to the point where he wasn't planting anymore. And maybe we'll save that for the next tutorial. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think we'll show you how to purge the inventory. Let's put him in there. Wah! Not the best with breaking blocks. Um, but yeah. That's about it. So, if there's anything else you guys want to know as far as functionality of, of the villagers or their mechanics, Hit me up in the comments or find me over on social media. And I'll be glad to help you as best I can. Alright guys, until next time. Later. Look at him down there. He's just so lonely. We return subscribers, thank you much for coming back. For those of you who are new here, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling up to it, share it out as well. I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments on the video below. So, drop them in. You guys can find me on social media. I'm at Gluttony Gaming on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. There's also links over here or down there somewhere. So go check it out. Until next time, everybody, this is Gluttony, and I'm out.